Hello guys, this is once again Jacob John and today with me is a familiar face, Ruth. Ruth is going to enact as a nurse and I'm going to play the part of a relative. My dad is in her ward and she's going to explain to me what exactly is wrong with my dad. Let's see how this role play card is going to wind up. Good morning. Good morning, nurse. I got a call at the nurse station uh, yes, from your exactly. room. Exactly, nurse. Uh, I'm Angelina and this is my dad, John. Yesterday, my brother brought him here. So, he's having this chest pain and I'm, I'm totally worried about him. Nurse, uh, do you have a few moments to spare? I'm actually mumbling because of my tension. I hope you can understand that. Um, could okay. you please spend some time with me? Okay, before we go, uh, my name is Ruth. I'm okay. the head nurse working in this hospital ward. Okay, and as a daughter, I can really understand you're very much concerned about your father's health. But he is stable now and he's coping up with the medications. Okay, so uh, let's have a chat. Okay, have a seat. And I want to talk to you regarding his um, habits and uh, his work. Okay, so first let's start with um, his work. Is he working or...? Uh, well, he used to work. He was uh, a bank employee, but now just because of a health condition, he's no longer able to work, it seems like. Early also, he used to say he's having this uh, difficulty uh, in his uh, left arm or something, as if it was numb. And moreover, he used to have a little bit of a headache in between. So we just thought that must be due to his age and um, he's not engaging in any sort of physical activities. Okay. So maybe because of that, because he loves to see television, he loves to watch television, all the daily soaps, and and uh, uh, talent shows and everything and um, he just he's just a couch potato to be short so but nurse I never expected this gonna happen to him because uh, my brother told me it was a really bad situation is brought to this hospital so I don't know exactly what to say could you please tell me what exactly is wrong with him? what type of a chest pain is he having and what all medications are you providing so Angela regarding the pain uh, he was having sharp pain and uh, doctor suspected that he was having angina yes my brother told me nurse is it something to be uh, scared of I'm, I'm totally worried that's no, what I'm asking no, you no 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 Angelina you don't have to worry about anything he is in the medication and uh, for the improvement of his heart all right okay uh, so uh, before we go on to that i want to ask is he any kind of medication well, I'm not sure about it, whether he's taking any sort of medications, but um, I think like he's having a couple of multivitamin supplements and apart from that he's taking, um, yes, he's taking a particular medication for his uh, uh, thyroid, I think, that he's having some problem uh, on his throat or something, that's, that's called his thyroid, I'm not sure about it, he's a little bit of uh, cold intolerant, so maybe because of that, but I'm not sure is he continuing it or not. Um, anyhow, I'll just ask him because uh, he doesn't share any of his personal details with either of us, uh, not my brother, not, okay. not with me. Okay, other than thyroid, is he suffering from any other condition? No, 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 I'm not sure about anything else uh, because uh, as I have told you, he's totally reserved. He doesn't like to actually you know, blow the trumpet about his ailments. I think you can understand that. Yes. that that's the main uh, issue that we have to confront right now because uh, when my brother asked him, uh, he told my brother that he was having this particular condition from a long time. Um, he was okay. having in between intermittent uh, uh, pain in his chest, but he thought that it's just because of lack of exercise or something. And now you can see that what it ended up with, with isn't it yes all oh, right yeah okay so I want to ask you more about his social habits um, well he is a party animal you have no idea of course he's a party animal he has having a lot of friends and uh, um, I know he enjoys party and I know that he loves to hang out with his friends and all but still uh, he has a very bad habit of smoking okay. yes he's a chain smoker um, I used to have issues with his smoking whenever I used to visit the house and mom used to have uh, issues with his smoking because uh, Passive smoking was uh, too much for us to take. Okay. Why, nurse? Do you think that is it because of smoking that he ended up like this? Yes, and uh, about the smoking, um, uh, you said he's a chain smoker. Yes, exactly, he is. You have no idea how many packets of cigarettes he smokes per day. Have you ever tried to advise him to quit smoking? Yes, a lot of times. A lot of times I've been hit his cigarette packets, but um, uh, he just buys new one and he just goes out for a stroll. On the pretext of taking a stroll, he just starts smoking. Um, and I've seen him smoking in a couple of clubs and bars. Uh, I have my friends who just told me, like, you know, Dad was here and he was smoking. And all of a sudden he had this wrist of a chest pain and uh, some of them just took him to the nearby clinic. And there was a lot of issue earlier, but I never thought that this would lead to this condition. 
So the main cause of his chest pain is because of the smoking. Okay, Angelina? Right. So, nurse, could you please explain to me what should I exactly do? How should I replace his smoking habit? And what should I do to just uh, make him normal and healthy as before? So, Angelina, if you are interested, I can enroll his name on the uh, smoking cessation groups we have uh, here. Oh, right. Okay. In this hospital. But, nurse, I want you to understand one thing. I'm really backlogged uh, financially. So, it seems like uh, I, I, I cannot spare any extra bugs. So, uh, can you do me a favor? Rather than breaking another bug, could you please uh, tell me, like, any other ways? Uh, like, this, this must be really costly. I know. I can understand that. No, Angelina, it is not at all costly. It's affordable and uh, I, can, I can really understand uh, where you're coming from, okay? Yeah. But it's all the uh, plan of the treatment. Oh, right. It's part of the plan. Yes, part oh, of the right, plan. Oh, right. Fine. So is there anything else? Because he doesn't listen to me and he might listen to you most probably. Is there anything else for anybody that you can just uh, bring over and uh, have a word with him or talk to him? We have a succession nurse, smoking succession right. nurse, who oh, can wonderful. give you the correct guidance regarding the oh, right. uh, tips you can uh, suggest to your father in order to right. quit smoking. Oh, that's okay. really wonderful. Thank you so much, nurse. So it seems like uh, she'll be available anytime. Yes, she is available and I'm going to um, go and ask her to come and talk to you. All right. And give you the correct guidance regarding it. All right, fine, nurse. That is so good of you. And I want to tell you one thing, nurse. Could you please just suggest me some ideas? Could you please just tell me, suggest some ways or tell me some ways? Like, how can he replace a smoking habit? Like, uh, uh, whenever he sees a cigarette or a cigarette packet, let it be an advertisement in the television, he'd be like, totally black out he just wants a cigarette right now he won't listen to anybody um could you please suggest me something there are some alternatives uh, available in the market like electronic um, smoking uh, okay. devices oh, and right. uh, nicotine tablets he can also use that all oh, right okay so these are the alternatives that he can use when he's had the urge to smoking i've heard about a patch and it's called as a nicotine patch could you yes. please tell me that, that, that also then, will work, right? Nicotine tablets, oh, yes. Right. Yes, and uh, tablets and the patches, yes. I think. Yes, you can just uh, put it on top of your uh, skin or something and be just slowly releasing uh, the effect of smoking or something. I'm not sure about it, but still, I was just asking. Yes. So can I get from the pharmacy down here? Uh, yes, you can get it from the pharmacy down. Uh, oh, right. We have in the hospital available. Uh -huh. So, uh, nurse, is there anything else that you want to tell me, like uh, aftercare once he gets discharged and I take him back home because I'm planning to stay with him for another month and uh, just before I'm uh, returning back to Australia. So, could you please just tell me something? Uh, you have to have a conversation with him in order to share, your, share his feelings, okay? Right, yeah. uh, that's the really main thing because he might be stressful about something. Okay. Okay? So, that's the main thing that you can do. You can spend some time with your father. All oh, right. Thank you so much, nurse. You have no idea how much you helped me out and your time is so valuable. I know I might have blocked many of your chores, but still, nurse, thank you so much. You have no idea how you have showed me the correct way. Um, I'm really grateful. I hope I've cleared all your doubts, Angelina, and uh, have a nice day. And I hope your uh, father's fast recovery as well. All right. Thank you so much. Okay.